Hi, I'm Steve Halliday. In this video, I'm going to show you how to hook up the motors and the servos to your Arduino through the motor shield. This is a pretty short and simple little video, but I want to separate this from the rest of the wiring because the rest of the wiring can get a little bit hairy. So let's dive into this and see how we get this done. You may recall from a previous video that we scavenged the white connectors from the original PC board from the RC car, and we're going to reuse these connectors to attach to our motors using the Arduino, so we'll need to make a couple of cables to do that with. Here's what one of the finished connector cables looks like. You'll notice that I've taken the white connector that we salvaged from the print circuit board from the original radio control car, and I've taken a couple of pieces of wire, a red wire and a black wire, and I've soldered them onto the leads on the back of the connector. Then I took a little bit of hot glue just to kind of reinforce the connection because a solder connection in and of itself isn't very strong and I slathered some of the hot glue onto the leads that I soldered. We'll do this for both of the connectors from the radio control car and then with these two sets of cables we'll connect these into the motor shield. We'll connect these over just right by the reset switch on the motor shield and you can connect them with the wires in either direction, but if you'll connect them the way I'm showing you in the picture here, then when we get to the programming, the programming will work the same for both of us. Notice that there are five places we can connect wires here on the motor shield in these blue connectors. We'll use the top two and the bottom two connectors, and you just insert the wires in and then tighten them down with a, a small Phillips screwdriver. Now we can use these clips and these wires that we've created to connect directly to the clips that drive the DC motors on the car. We'll use this set of wires on the top here to drive the steering of the car. It's labeled as M1 on the motor shield card and then the bottom set of wires we'll use to power the DC motor that moves the car forward and backwards. Finally we can connect the two servos to these three pins, these sets of three pins up in the top left corner of the card it's very important that you connect the wires in the right direction with the brown wire closest to the near edge of the card as I've shown here. And this motor shield card will drive both servos. There you have it. It was pretty easy. Now your motors are hooked up and we're ready to program them. But before we start doing any programming, I'm going to show you how to hook up all the sensors, how to wire those up. And so we'll do that in the next video. Remember, if you want to get a kit and follow along, you can get all the parts that you need at swarmus.com. Look forward to working on the sensors on the next video.